Hey, what's going on, guys? We're gonna be cooking up some uh, wild game today. We put some beaver in a crock pot. Uh, you guys, come along here, and I'm gonna be showing you how to cook it. Alright, the first process we're going to be doing for making this uh, beaver pot roast is we're going to be making a brine to put the beaver in. We're going to marinate it overnight. So first we're going to need some apple cider vinegar. We're going to be dumping that in a dish. Next up, you're going to need some bone broth. You know, just take some of that bone broth and dump it right on in there. I want to remind you guys that I measure nothing. So whatever seems to be the right amount is what we're going to go with. All right, ladies and gentlemen, grab your onion salt. This is what's gonna put the salt in your brine, so make sure you go a little heavy on it. Throw that right in the jar. Time to pull out your garlic powder. And if you're like me, you're gonna like a lot of garlic powder. So just go on and dump as much as you like in there. You're gonna need some kind of soy sauce, so grab yourself a bottle of soy sauce and put a couple dabs in there. Give that brine a nice heavy stir. Get all the ingredients you just put in there nice and mixed up. All right, now we just gotta get some water and top her off. Let's get ready for that main ingredient. That's right, pull out your beaver roast and let's get started. Just take that big delicious hunk of beaver meat and lay it in your brine and make sure it's fully submerged. And we're just gonna leave it sitting there overnight. Take your beaver roast and your brine and let's put them in the refrigerator and we'll let them sit overnight. Come tomorrow morning we'll be able to take that beaver roast and put it in a crock pot and let it cook up. And hey, come the next morning, your beaver pot roast is ready to go in the crock pot. Pull it right out of your brine, put it in the crock pot and let's start the process. The mixture we throw inside this crock pot while we're cooking, it's not much different than the brine. You're gonna need some bone broth. Now look what we got here. That's a bit of liquid smoke. And you bet your ass we're gonna put a little bit of that in there because oh yeah, everything tastes better with a smoke flavor. Next up, you're gonna throw a little bit of rosemary petals in there. All right, now we're gonna put a couple shakes onion powder in there. All right, now we're calling for more garlic because we always need more garlic. Now your next ingredient is sage. Just give that a couple shakes as well and you'll be good to go. Now the end of this recipe is gonna be calling for two bay leaves. So pull two bay leaves out of this little jar here and throw them inside your crock pot. Go ahead now, top her off with water. Now if your crock pot has a built-in timer like mine, you're gonna set it for six hours and then wait to have yourself a delicious roast. All right, hey, when you got this all cooked up, you gotta make sure that you share a little bit with somebody so that they can enjoy it with you. All right, guys, after you get done cooking her all up, there ain't much out of roast from a pork beaver, but as you can see, nice and delicious. What do you think? It's great. Good stuff, huh? Yeah. All right, let's give her a taste. I haven't tasted it yet.